I just want to tell you personally, it is a privilege to get to stand here with you this evening. I love seeing what God is doing in your life as a couple. The way he brought you together, pretty sick and cool, and really grateful that we get to celebrate that. And I think everybody who knows you knows that y'all are a great fit. Y'all are great compliments for one another. Y'all belong together. Justin, Tiki, Sydney. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to respect. To love and to respect. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Very good. I to be take you, Justin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. <laughs> for richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. <laughs> to love and to respect. To love and to respect. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Very good. It is my privilege now, as you have consented together in marriage, have shared vows, have shared rings, have you made this public in front of God and all these people who care about you and love you by the authority that has been given to me by the great state of South Carolina, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whom God has joined together, let no one ever separate. Father God, what a joy it is to have this opportunity to laugh, to celebrate love, to experience a true commitment that has been made between Justin and Sydney. Lord, we pray your hand of blessing on them today and in the days ahead. Lord, we recognize that while marriage is such a tremendous blessing and a tremendous gift, there are many days in marriage that are not easy. There are many days in marriage where big decisions are made. There are many days in marriage where there can be confusion, where there can be challenges, where there are obstacles to overcome. So Lord, we praise you for the blessing of the good days that we get to celebrate, but we pray your wisdom on Justin and Sydney in the days that are challenging, in the days that are not as easy to navigate. I pray that in those days of challenge, Lord, that you would give them words of power and life to speak to one another. Words like, I love you. Words like, I was wrong. And you were right. Words like, please forgive me. Oh Lord, I pray that the power of those words would guide and direct their steps, would guide and direct their conversations, and would guide and direct the way they fall more in love with each other each day. Father, I pray that as they seek to fall more in love with each other, they would fall more in love with you. The author and the perfecter of our faith, the giver of every good gift, the creator of love and marriage, I pray, Lord God, that you would be at the foundation of all that they do as a couple, and I pray that their marriage would bring glory and honor to your name as they seek to write a story, a story of your love and their love for one another. We lift all of this up to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.